This is Revelation 17, verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying to me, Come hither, and I will show unto you the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet beast full of names and blasphemies, having seven heads and ten horns. Giving all the praise to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth, who I learned from daily. Shalom, Labakarium, Shah Yasharala. That's peace to the hopeful election of the nation of Israel. What I said in the beginning is the Heavenly Father's true name. We believe this through faith, which is Yahweh. Yah is He. Hawa is to be. Or existing or is Bahashem is in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the saviors, the savior who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Real name Yahweh Shai, Yah, He, Yahweh Shai, savior or deliverer. The same name as Joshua. Okay. And this is redacted. Redacted here. Oh, in Salakia. The Ruach Kodash. Ruach is spirit and Kodash is holy. And you cannot do this thing and make it without that Holy Spirit, which is a down payment of salvation. This is redacted. YouTube handle that I follow. I got this from uh from the apostles. You know, so I've been following him for a while now. You know, they, they go in. <clears throat> they go in. You know, him and his wife, you know, sometimes in the beginning they take a little long. They drag it out. You know, uh, they take a little long to get to the point. But when they get to the point, like videos like this, they uh, they definitely on point. So this is NATO. Hold on. So I get the whole title here. It says NATO is going to get us all killed. Protests of aim. Or amid to shut down NATO with its North American Treaty Organization, that's an acronym, for good. So what's happening is you got a lot of protests going against NATO, which is going to show the separation between the whore that I just read in Revelation 17. The whore is another name, another code name, another mystery for Great Babylon, which is displaced America. You're not going to see America in the Bible. So get that through your head. America is a modern day name from Amerigo Van Spucci. Okay. This has a cold name that the Lord put in the prophet's mouth hundreds of years ago to identify the last kingdom on planet Earth before the Lord's kingdom comes. And it goes by several names. Nineveh, Assyria, Egypt, Sodom and Gomorrah. The daughter of Babylon, the beast, the image of the beast, the dragon, and also the whore that sitteth upon many waters, which are the nations. And it's in the in the seven, you know, the you got the you got the um you got the uh the seven heads and the ten horns, which represents NATO and the EU. That's the that's that's the structure because when America wins, the EU wins. So you have the EU, which started out with uh, twelve flags, and the twelve flags were actually ten. The two of them were the same, so they were actually ten, and now it's about thirty flags now to the EU, and then you got the military force of the EU, which is NATO. So when you read about that whole, that that beast, that beast is NATO. 
with its seven heads and the ten horns. And the whore that sits on that beast with the cup in their hand of the abom with the abominations that made the kings of the earth drunk, that's this place here, America. See, the Lord has uh, decoded these prophecies for the men in this day to f have direction. You know, that's how much favor he showed to his elect. The elect is of the nation of Israel. Okay, the whole nation of Israel is the elect nation, but you have the elect, the Israel of God within that nation, Galatians 6 and 16. You understand? And that's called the remnant. And they're going to be saved, they're going to be plucked or sifted out in these days for salvation. Salvation is for that remnant. The rest of Israel, two-thirds of the nation of Israel will die in this place, in this whore. In the belly of this beast Upon this nuclear destruction So what you have here This is uh, redacted You know, uh, There's a protest That took place where You know uh, Several states in this beast Came together to protest To disconnect from NATO So they want the whore To disconnect from the horns They don't know that but that's what they're doing, which is shows the vision, which is good. Because as we read on, those horns, those heads actually burn this place. They burn, they turn on the whore for several reasons. So just like you have protests in this whore here that want separation from NATO, you have protests on NATO side, especially with Germany, one of the richest countries in uh, uh, the EU You got Turkey that just got hit With the major earthquake They up to over 100,000 100, dead Now they're forced to Lean upon Russia they're, They went Out They went out of the EU So therefore you have the division That the Lord needs Remember this is the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah Show the Lord is ending this side, this side of the world, as you know it, with wickedness, with the hate, with disaster. The demonic spirit of growing up in this place, of living this life that we live under sin, is about to be done away with. And the captain of sin, which is Esau, who holds the last bearer, he's the last bearer of the light on this side, is about to be done away with. And the new system under our Lord, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, is about to take place. That's what the world don't know. The Lord is about to capture this place in the rest of the universe. So we're going to look at a little bit of this video. But before we do, matter of fact, let's see. Okay, let's, let's, let's go right in. I'm going to get ahead of myself. Should NATO be banned? Put an end to silenced shut down for good it runs around under the guise that it's a defensive organization but it's laughable anyone with a brain knows it's anything but defensive just look at ukraine of course which is now being used as a proxy to expand nato's territory right to russia's doorstep a promise they broke uh, nick brana is one of the organizers of the rage against the war machine rally in dc over the past uh, couple of weeks he's uh, been doing amazing work really revitalizing an anti-war movement that has been dead in the United States. And he has a new mission to say no to NATO. And Nick joins us here so on the show. So as you can see Nick, that, welcome back to the show. this and guy here, you know. He's one of the, you know, faces they're using. But this is an inside job. Trust me. You know, and the Lord is working on the minds of these people. So the whole slogan right now is to say no to nato and that's why russia is all in the news because when you go into revelations 13 once again keep your eyes on that that whore that beast those those horns and those heads this is revelations and we all in revelation this is the time the lord has broken the seals to this book to all the prophecies and the men of the lord we got it all praises to yahweh and i say that humbly you know, the men of the Lord, you know, we got it. You know, this is uh, Revelations 13 and 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea 
and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, which is that system again, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the names of blasphemies. So them crowns represents rulerships. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. That's the beginning of it, starting with Alexander the Greek. You got to go into Daniel's the seventh chapter. You know, we're not going to go there. You know, that's a whole nother lesson. You know, but uh, this was the beginning of Esau. You know, because when you put the puzzle together, that's why you need the Apocrypha. You need them books that was sent away. Those cryptic books. And when you go into 2nd Ezra inside the Apocrypha, 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, it tells you that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it thereof. Now, when that was written, it was about 9,500 years. That's it. Right? Let's give it, you know, around that time. So it was 2,500 years later. That Esau would take the fall And that's what we in 2023 AD Where Esau is taking that fall From the time that Ezra wrote that That's serious business To understand that timeline That's serious business So Esau got stronger Throughout time You know he even took a fall with, with Rome and came back A little over a thousand years later With the renaissance Took over the papacy Which is the Roman Catholic Church Changed the images Took over the doctrine Came to the states Who you know is America today Manifest destiny Conquered the ten tribes Captured the other three tribes from the west coast of Africa Bought them here to do the prophecy Jeremiah 50, 33 And it's been sitting upon the congregation of the Lord ever since But see he had help from the heavenly father Because this is the Lord's story Coming together And the Lord has a plan to end it That's what we see seeing right now With everything going on The ending of this man's system but it's going to go out in the bang. That's what this MOTB is about. Pledging your alliance to this system, to your master. So it says, uh, second verse, Revelation 13, 2. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet, which is the end result, was as the feet of a bear. That bear represents Russia. That's why Russia is all in the news. Now, Russia is not a part of this B system. Why? Because NATO was ultimately, so they say, was created to go against the Soviet Union. Because the Soviet Union was so mass, big. So NATO was created to go against them. Canada is included in, in, in NATO. Okay? But the bear is going to end with the bear, which is Russia. And his mouth was as the mouth of a lion and the dragon, which is the old Rome. The old Rome and a lion speaking great things. And the old Rome gave him his power and his seat and great authority because this is a image. This walks in the likeness of Rome. Everything, constitution, the mall system, the games, everything they do in this kingdom is based on Rome. So back into Revelations now 17 And we're going to jump to the 15th verse Now mind you keep your mind on this video here You know The separation between those, those heads, those horns And this whore This place is happening The Lord is causing this this is a, when you when you got the eyes out. This is actually a beautiful, beautiful story being told and it's unfolding right before our eyes. Revelation seventeen verse fifteen, and he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the horse sitteth 
are people and multitudes and nations and tongues. So now the um, angel is breaking down to John what he saw in the beginning of the chapter. Those was not actually waters. Those were multitudes and multitudes of people. That he saw the whore and the whore. America sits on everybody. America was once known as the bread basket of the world. Everybody turned to America for everything. Go back to the 40s, 50s, 60s. The style of the world came from America. The democracy. Everybody got a trade in the petrodollar. The language of the air is English. But this was the setup from the Lord. So it says, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. Now we're seeing this. NATO is going to turn against the whore. The whore is going to turn against NATO. And, and, and I'm telling you, it's going to have something to do behind that Nord Stream pipeline. Pipeline one and two was sabotaged. And that just came out. They just did thorough research. <laughs> and the investigation shows America's guilty. And they got America on a record stating that the Nord Stream Pipeline 1 will be no more if Russia attacks Ukraine. So Biden is on record saying that. And trust me, China as well as Russia keeps those records. So that pipeline was very serious to the energy supply flowing through 40% of Europe, including some top major countries of the European Union, like Germany, like Turkey, who just got hit with a mass. They just got hit again the other day with a 6.4 earthquake on top of everything they're going through. Now they're really going to need that pipeline. What are they going to do? The separation is set now. Uh, 16 verse again, Revelation 17, 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh. Meaning, hey, they ate with her, man, for a time, and burn. Now they're going to turn and burn her with fire. What's going to be that fire? Thermonuclear destruction. Hey, you can go over here to reject it, watch the rest of this. They going in because the protest is about we don't want nuclear war because they know it's about to happen. So these Edomites are coming out and saying we got to defend what's ours. We want to separate from them right now because it looks like Russia is set up to attack every major NATO base. That's why Poland is on high alert right now. Biden just came from Ukraine. He was over there in Poland trying to rise the, 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 the morale of the soldiers. They got tanks on the borderline. Russia about to get it in with NATO. And these Edomites, you know, that's that's in the know for the so for a certain extent. They saying we don't want no parts of that. We must save our country. So we must separate. They going to their politicians. This thing is about to be big here. Because you're looking at prophecy right before your eyes. But this place, they won't be able to stop it. Ain't no protest going to stop this. This place will be burnt with fire. That's the judgment. 17th verse. For Yahweh hath put in their hearts. See, <laughs> the Lord is running this. Uh, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. So the Lord put it in their hearts to fulfill his will. This is the Lord's story. And this was written in around, what, 90 AD, 91, we talk over 2,000 years ago. This was written by the prophet John on the island of Patmos in one of those islands over there in Greece, a salt mine. So this was written well before NATO was established. For Yahweh have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast. And that's what they've done. When America ate, the EU ate. Remember, the EU is a structure within itself. Created by the, uh, the, the, the Treaty of Rome. I forget the exact date, but it definitely was in the 50s. I don't know, 53, 56. And NATO is the, it's the muscle. It's the might. So some of the countries that's in NATO is not in the EU, but they take part 
in the military might for the EU. You understand? So the Lord has put in their hearts, which is the EU heart, to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom to the beast, which is also the whore. The beast is also the whore, synonymous, synonymous with each other. Until the words of Yahweh should be fulfilled. That's the that's when the Lord has sealed his elect. Just like when the angels came to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. They couldn't do it till Lot got out of there and his daughters. Lot was considered the elect at that time. And the angels told him, hurry, we can't tear this place up to you safe. So I'll tell you about those four winds in the seventh chapter of Revelations. Before the Lord tear this place up, the elect got to be sealed. That's the 144. The remaining that's on this earth now. Because not all of the 144 is in this earth at this time. So the wind's about to blow because the number could be damn near filled or if not filled already. So 17 verse again. For Yahweh have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beasts until the words of Yahweh shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. And that city is Babylon the Great. A.K.A. America That's not the Vatican City The Vatican City does not rule Over the kings of the earth Even though the Vatican is down With America Those are the frogs They deal with more of the sorcery it's The sorcery side America is, deals with the military might As well as with NATO And Britain deals with the financial aspect So as you can see, <laughs> NATO is going to get us killed, man. But that's all prophecy. That's a beautiful thing, man. Giving all praise and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakabdash Shalom.